So we're gonna be testing some canister shells today. These are the Neon Skies by Raccoon Fireworks. Uh, we're gonna be testing the pace with a certain fusing method that actually Garrison came up with. Um, and then we're gonna be testing it out on this 20 shot rack here. So as we get more into it, I'll show you the techniques. So we're gonna be starting out with this fast cannon fuse. Um, as you can see, it burns 10 seconds per foot. Hopefully it's focusing, I don't know. Yeah, let's get it to focus. So as you can see, 10 seconds per foot. And then that's the length that we're cutting them to right there. So about three, three and a half inches. Okay, and then this is the next one we're gonna be testing. Um, this is also called fast safety fuse. You get 20 feet of that. And how fast did this one go again? Two seconds. So this is two seconds a foot. And, and it looks like this, right? Yep. Yeah, so same color and everything. This one's a little lighter pink, but either way, not much. Okay, and then lastly, we're gonna be using this safety fuse here that's 0.3 to 1.25 seconds per foot. However, we do have some faster fuse here. Uh, this burns at 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 seconds per foot. So we usually get this stuff, but lately we've been getting this. I actually ordered some fuse a while back and I got a bunch of these. Um, and it burns a little slower than that stuff. You guys could tell from the 300,000 video. We fused the first and second row with the super quick fuse that I just showed you in the last part with this, and this stuff was the last to go. So right now we are using the 10 second fuse and we're putting it here on the side. You can see each tube has two holes that we just drilled in. Now you'll see he's just kind of hollowing out that hole there, and then there's gonna be another one right there. So what we're doing here is if you think of a 500 gram cake, they've got the cardboard tubes and all the fuses that lead into the next one do something like this. So we're trying to replicate that to get your canister shells to fire more like a cake instead of a shell rack. So you'll notice we only got a couple more tubes here on the end. We're just getting the fuse put in there. Then we're gonna hot glue over the hole. And we wanna make sure we're doing this before we load the shell in because after we put the gunpowder in with the shell, you really can't do this step here. So with the hot glue gun here, you just wanna make sure it's on low temp. And then he's just plugging up these holes like that. So no, none of the lift charge leaks out of the bottom of these tubes. And as you can see, we fused down the whole line, just like in a 500 gram cake. So I tried this without gluing it when I first did try this technique. And there were times that it actually blew the fuse out of the hole without lighting it. Okay. So by the glue keeping it in place there, it just helps the ignition of it to go into the next tube. And then we're just going to repeat this same process for every fuse we want to test in the rack. So I'm not going to show you any more because you guys basically get the idea. But then when we do go to load the shells in, I will get back to you. All right, so Garrison's just working on hollowing out a couple more of those holes in the tubes. I'm just gonna start pulling these shells out. These are the Neon Skies by Raccoon. We have done videos on them before. They're pretty good shells. So after tax, these are about $120 a box. Um, not the greatest deal in the world, but you know, firework prices are generally going up. And we're gonna be using mortar racks, but this is what the tube looks like. Just standard fiberglass. So anyway, that's what the shells look like. They're all labeled for effect and numbered. So they're pretty good shells. That's why we're gonna be using these in our next upcoming show. Forgot to show you the back of the box, but all the effects are actually labeled right here. And as you can see, they're also numbered one through 24. So that's why we like shell kits like this. All right, so now the fun part, we're gonna start loading the shells into the rack. And uh, this is the part where it's a little tricky and you're gonna see him cut the bottom off of the shell. And we're doing this intentionally. And now he's gonna dump the gunpowder or the lift charge into the tube. And that powder is gonna go all the way to the bottom with the shell. And that way, when this fuse enters the tube, it hits the lift powder immediately and sends the shell up in the air. Now, some of you guys might be thinking that if we do it like that, it's not gonna send the shell as high as it normally would. But here's the issue with that. I got some comments about it on Instagram. And this is the same way that a 500 gram cake is fused. So if that were true, then technically a 500 gram cake wouldn't send the shell up either. So you don't have to worry about any height differences. Fusing it like this, it goes generally the same height. Even if we lose a foot out of these things, I really don't think you can tell. No, no. So yeah. And it doesn't matter which way you pull. You can either yeah. pull on the fuse like I did, or you can do this, pull the plastic mm -hmm. off. And then all it's doing is you're just pulling the fuse right out of yep. the lift there. So it doesn't really matter anyway. You know, some people have commented that um, when you obstruct the lift charge like that and take it out, it actually doesn't send the shell up as high as it would because it's all compact in the bottom of the shell. But I don't think that's true because we've mm -hmm. done this before and we've tested it and we've never had an issue with a shell not going as high. 
Yeah, I think some people are afraid we lose some of it out of the holes we put in the tube None. and then around the sides, but I really, I haven't noticed anything and we've, mm -hmm. we've tested this a hundred times, so. Literally. Yeah, so the other thing you wanna be safe, make sure you're not double loading the tubes. So always check before you put another shell in because remember, if you load it like this, it's gonna be pretty tough to get it all out and separate the lift charge again. And basically, we're just going to be repeating this process that you've been seeing throughout the entire rack. We've got three different fuses we're testing in this video, so when it's finally time to shoot them off, I'll get back to you. All right, we're going to start with the 10-second fuse first, and we'll get you a shot right up close to the fuse. Remember, this is just a test, so that's why we're shooting it with daylight. Those are nice shells. Those are really nice. All right, pacing on that, what'd you think? That was pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's not quite like a cake that like you'd expect, like doot, 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 yep. you know? But that's the 10 second fuse. All right, next test is gonna be on the two second fuse. So this is definitely gonna be a little quicker. Here we go. See what kind of pacing we get. Remember, we're shooting in daylight because we're just testing pace here. crackly down there <laughs> what'd you think of that i like that a lot actually yeah and as you can see using that method they all went off okay we're back in the shop loading it up again right now we're using the quick fuse that goes at 0 0.3 to 1.25 seconds a foot and then we're also going to be doing another 10 with this fuse to show you how much quicker it is. So we forgot to bring this up earlier, but it's very, very important. Sometimes when you're doing canister shells, it's actually gonna leave the little lift cup on the bottom. I'm sure you guys know what we're talking about, those little circular, do you have one as an example? Yeah. I think we uh, threw some of them away. So you have to be very, very mindful of these because they will eventually start to stack. These things don't shoot out of the tube. So eventually you'll get three, four of them in there. And then when you go to load your fuse here in the bottom, if I can get a shot, so now that the flash is on, you can see, so that fuse right there at the bottom would actually go underneath this. And I guess Garrison has had a couple instances where it did not fire the shell because the fuse was led right underneath all these. Definitely make sure you dump them out and make sure they're free of any obstruction. Otherwise this technique will not work very well. So you can see we're just leading it here with safety fuse, but you could totally lead this with the MJG wire too and hook it up to the Cobra. That means you could just stick the E-match right into that first hole and then start this like you would a regular 500 gram cake. And then just a heads up guys, each one of these canister shells is 60 grams. So you got 20 tubes in a rack, you fused it up like a cake, you've now got a 1200 gram cake. All right, so this stuff here is the safety quick fuse that burns at 1.25 seconds a foot. Let's check it out. Oh my God. <laughs> now that's fun. That was ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Okay, I don't know how we're gonna top that, but this is the fastest fuse of them all. This is the stuff that burns 0.01 to 0.03 seconds per foot. So technically by time, it is much faster. We got another vehicle. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, it's, it's way faster, way faster. Hopefully that's not the share. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,